I have error code E01F09 and door will not unlock. Has been this way for 5 days. I have unplugged numerous times and it still goes back to error codes. What's the brand and model of your appliance? Whirlpool. Let me get model. How long has this been going on with your Whirlpool appliance? What have you tried so far? A week I have unplugged numerous times and plugged back in. Anything else we should know to help you best? I want to know how to open the locked door please. Hello I would be happy to help you. Do you have the model number? Hi I don't see it. Where would it be? It is front-loading Whirlpool. Approximately how old is it? Three years. Okay, thanks. Is there standing water inside? I don't see any. Okay, thanks. Is the dryer on top of the washer also is the washer on a pedestal? There is very small load in there but tea just looks wet. The dryer on top of the washer also is the washer on a pedestal? Dryer is not on top and washer is not on pedestal. I can also say that I noticed the washer had come off one of its leveling blocks when this occurred last week. It is now back on the blocks. Okay thanks. With my experience this means the drain pump underneath is stopped up. There is a clean out underneath it you can remove. Most likely there is something stuck in it. Copy and paste this link it will look different but it comes apart the same way. https colon slash u2 dot b slash sezos u5 dot zero. I think it came unbalanced dot which it has done before and once I balanced it, the machine worked. However, this time, I can't get past the codes to unlock and try to restart. Once you clean it out, it will be okay. Okay, can I get the door unlocked and remove stuff prior to turning it sideways? I noticed the video is for a Maytag. Will it be the same for Whirlpool? As I said above it will look different but it comes apart the same way. Whirlpool owns Maytag. It will unlock. Okay, thank you. Hi. Are you still able to assist me? Hello. I have completed what you suggested and it did work. However the next load I did I still got the error E01F09 but the door unlocked and it was draining. So I started another load and before it finished I got the E01F09 code and the door will not unlock. I did the drain plug again but nothing was in it except water. This did not fix it and it doesn't make the drain sound nor does the door unlock. I back where I started. Okay thanks. So this means the drain pump is faulty unfortunately and will need to be replaced unfortunately. Can you give me the model number and I will give you the part number. Where do I find the model number? It will be on a white sticker on the inside of the door opening. Unplug the washer. Then remove the screws holding the top panel on. They are going straight into the back of it then slide it back and off. Then copy and paste this link it will look different but it comes apart the same way. It will show you how to unlock the door. 
https colon slash u2 dot b slash slack size ok. Ok, I will get back with you once I have it. Thank you. You are welcome. Door is unlocked. Customer attachment September 18, 2026, 37 and 51 seconds p.m. Customer attachment September 18, 2026, 39 and 9 seconds p.m. Okay, thanks. You will need to order and replace this part number WPW 10605427. I'm sorry for your trouble. If you need any more information or help let me know. My username is hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to rate me. Please give me a good rating. One more question. I turned it back on and code is E01FO3. What does that mean? Okay thanks. That means the pressure switch is faulty. That changes everything. That's what is causing the other code. It thinks there is still water in it. You will need to order and replace this part number WPW 10448876 copy and paste this link it will look different but it comes apart the same way. WPW 10448876 https colon slash u2 dot b slash jfm gh die zero winu make sure you always check the port on the tub where the pressure hose connects put a 3 16 drill bit in it by hand to make sure it is clear okay not sure what you mean but i will watch video now it will make sense when you get to the pressure switch the hose connects to it Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, let me try to do what you said now. Okay. The hose connects to the tub at the bottom of the washer. You want me to check it to see if it's clogged? Check the port where the pressure hose connects to the tub. I'm not seeing how to get to that port. Pull the hose off. I pulled hose off from pressure switch like video shows but that's not a tub port. Is it by drain valve maybe? Follow the hose down. I still can't see it when looking from underneath. Is there a video showing how to get there? I can see it when looking from top but from bottom I can't see it. You may have to remove the rear panel to access it. I have removed the hose from the tub and it was not clogged. I am ordering parts but want your opinion please before I do. The washer only does the FO3 code after I manually unlock the door and restart the washer. So I am wondering if me unlocking the door is causing that. I have done a few more loads trying to duplicate the errors, and about every two loads I get the F09 code and the washer doesn't drain. I have been able, so far, to unlock the door, restart the machine and drain and spin cycle and it works. After it completes the drain and spin cycle, I restart the machine in new load. My point is, I am thinking the issue may be the drain pump and not the pressure switch. Thoughts One more observation, when the FO9 code is in play, the washer makes a humming noise when trying to drain but isn't the same as real draining noise. Okay thanks. If it does drain the water, it is the pressure switch. If it doesn't it is the pump. Okay thank you. You are welcome. 
If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.